All right, so Rewaz just dropped an update. I have actually been waiting on this one for a very long time. So we now have dynamic shift layers, but really the main thing is we can create up to 10 of them. Previously in Rewaz, you were limited to four. So this is pretty big. This is <laughs> big deal for me. Like I was waiting on this. Um, but there's some other really cool things here. I'm can actually see I am using it. There's a new mobile controller and it lets you control the com control the computer like a keyboard and mouse, which is pretty pretty cool. I actually covered a separate Bluetooth app that I was using to do basically this. So now that this is integrated into Rewazd, that's fantastic. I'm actually I can't show it because I'm not showing you an actual video of my phone like my hand on it, but you're not limited to this little pad. Once I touch in this little mouse pad, I do have my entire phone screen. You know, it functions as the mouse. I'm not sure yet if I can enable gyro for this part. I couldn't really find, I couldn't really find a setting for that. So like I go in here, this is just real basic. Um, you do have this toggle up here to switch to a keyboard, which is pretty cool. And just to like test that, I could do like control shift escape, pull up my taskbar. Uh, but yeah, I would like to have gyro on that. Yeah, so like if I go into Rewazd and check this out, I can't change, can't change that, and I don't see a place for gyro. But if you do the gamepad, let's switch over to gamepad. Switch over to my mobile controller. See, like for this, then I could apply that. And now I am using mouse gyro. So, I mean, I'm sure I could figure something out. I just haven't really dug into it. I basically just got this little, the mobile controller, like 20 minutes ago. So I haven't really dug into it too much. But it's, it's pretty cool. Really, it's just this this mouse and keyboard part is a, I I use that other app often so that's pretty cool that that's integrated into Rewazd but anywho let's switch over to the controller yeah so before we were limited to just having four layers now you can create you just add a new layer got shift 5 and you can keep doing well I'll just show you go boom Add a new one, bam, kapow, add a new one, do it, add a new one. Now it's grayed out, I cannot create any more. I was able to make, you're able to make 10 layers, so you have 11 total, 11 total configuration options, which is a hell of a lot better than the five total we were limited to before. Now what is also nice is, like, let's remove that, so earlier, I had, I think it was this RB hold, and I save that as a preset. Save layer as preset. So then, you're creating a new layer, I can just go, hey, I want to use that preset. You know, it copied that entire layer, which is pretty cool. But also, they did add in a couple in here, so you could, you know, just do like some default things. I think you could make one config to sort of work for quite a few games because you could just hop between these different shifts. I do like also that you could just copy that entire thing. So let's try that. Copy that and then let's go to nine. Paste. Oh, look at that. <laughs> imagine. Oh man, imagine if Steam Input had copy paste. But yeah, so that's, that's exciting because that was actually that was holding me back on finishing out this Star Citizen config here. Let's go, yeah, I mean, you can see I clearly put a lot of effort into this so far, but there was a, there was a couple things like camera, th uh, advanced camera options. I was kind of stuck having that jammed together with free look, which just in the bushes kind of Star Citizen stuff. When you're holding the free look key, you can't do certain camera functions. Like it was just a limitation and I couldn't get around it because 
I was limited. I couldn't give up another layer. But now, yeah, now I can make one just for all the advanced camera stuff. You know, I can flesh this out as much as I need to. So that's really cool. The one thing that I'm still waiting on that we don't have yet. So please, guys, I know I'm, I'm pretty sure they're working on this, but I want to be able to put a shift layer command like Okay, like up here we have long press goes to shift two. I want to do that on the zones for sticks, trigger, gyro. So for instance, like here we have up all the way is left shift afterburner. Maybe I want that also to be a shift. I can't do it right now. <laughs> Which like oof. I, that's that's the one thing still holding me back. So that's that. A pretty cool, nice little update to Rewazd. Just in time for the holidays. Um, I'm still mostly using this Fly Digi Vader 2 controller. I really dig it. Gives me quite a lot of remapping options. You know, we get these extra face buttons. These three buttons can all be remapped. Get four back buttons. And, I mean, it was rough moving away from Steam Controller, but I do have to say, I'm really digging Rewaz, particularly with something like Star Citizen, where I don't have to fight trying to get that Steam overlay. That's so frustrating that all the Steam input stuff is tied into the Steam overlay, which doesn't play well with certain non-Steam games. But that's neither here nor there. That's just sort of, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff. Like, I still love the Steam Controller. I... I'm just very frustrated with Steam input, so I've been mostly focusing on Rewazd and this other controller. But that's pretty much all I got. That was a nice little ramble. <laughs>